super hardcore, you know, like diet enthusiast. So he's ne never eating a Subway sandwich. But there's a strategy for some of these individuals. Kevin O'Leary, there's a strategy. Mark Cuban, there's a strategy. It's just, it's so Barbara Cork. I mean, there's so many and it's just, no I don't know. Strategy. What, I don't know what it is. But I, I, I hear from my friends like you, People love it. They're like addicted to her TikTok. They love it. They want to hear her takes on things. So, per usual, I'm probably on an island. I, I know. I'm I'm conflicted. I don't love, but I I like more than you. But before we move on, the one thing I do want to say, which I've observed, is I mean, every post is brand. I mean, she is on the water skis. They're at dinner. My, I mean, you know, you have to give it to her. I'm not like a Bethany enthusiast, but. Some 14-year-old girls are out. They're doing a little diddling and daddling with their boyfriends. They're doing drugs. They're like, she's done something right because you have a child that loves spending time with you. It's like, that's her oh, best friend David, and vice versa. On. Oh my God, please. Are you this, you've been in this business. Are you that naive? Give me a break. Half of these videos could all be shot in one day and spaced over three <laughs> weeks. You don't know anything about their life. Give me a break. That Oops. is the biggest like load of, and when you were in trouble, when you are, you know, what do you, what is like the go-to post your kids, post about uh, a charity, post about, give me a break. That fine. is so, that is, she, that is such a strategic move by her. Now, do I think that they're, I, I'm sure she's crazy about Bryn, her daughter, I'm sure. But I mean, do I think everything is as picturesque as this for a teenager and their mother? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I just, I'm over it. There's so many other housewives now, like Luann. There's so many people that are so talented and are doing things above and beyond. And for whatever, I know you have your own thoughts about Teresa Giudice, but, you know, there's, I think, somebody who, I don't know, I like her as a lot as a mother. I love that softer side of her. Mm. Heather Gay's getting ready to be an author for the second time. I don't know. I just feel like there are other people for me to follow. That's my opinion. God, you are. I mean, I was so like, what a beautiful mother daughter relationship. But 14 year old wants their fucking picture taken all the time like this with their mom. Most, you want most 13 and 14 year old. Were you hanging out and loving your parents when you were? No, born? but that's why I was so. And like, yeah. That's or that I was girl so you dated impressed. for like five years and you never kissed, whatever. But you know Excuse what I mean? Excuse me, it was two years. <laughs> And then she broke up with me after we graduated high school for a real man because she wanted to have sex before the summer this before like college. A codependent relationship where this woman had no other children, has no man, can't keep one, no life, posts 24 7. And it's like, Brent, Brent, take a photo, take a photo. We have to hang out together. Um, are you excited for the alternate RHONJ ending where we're going to have a Margaret Danielle Cabral? Uh, Rachel, uh, Margaret, Melissa Cabral and Fuda are going to be in one room watching the big smackdown at rails and Teresa, Jackie and Aiden are going to be in the other room watching it. And rumor is Dolo and Fessler are going to float between the two rooms. Now, mind you, this will be airing on Friday. Today is Friday the 19th and it was filmed on the 15th. So, uh. We might know more by the time you're all listening to this, but uh, <sighs> what do you think of this? I find it like yeah. I could, I, I could pass on this. Maybe it'll be good when it's laid out. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. like we, we know Melissa and that team are going to trash Aiden and Teresa. We know the other team is going to trash Melissa. Why do we have to watch this? Like, I mean, we don't, we know the commentary. Like I'm truly confused. I don't know. I think I I I I can't imagine anyone that's enthusiastic about this. I will watch because I'm going to be curious to see how it goes down. However, I, I mean, I guess I think they had no choice, right? From Andy coming out and just saying it's so toxic, we're going to take our time. You know, you why not you do this a year ago? I think they they can't be in the same room. So this is the best we're going to get, and then we're going to give it a long. Couldn't time. you just do nothing? Like that's my thoughts just why do this just don't do anything my okay my wild uh conspiracy hat theory is that mm -hmm. they were gonna do nothing then that leaked or came out and then the fans were so mm. backlashed they came up with this 
that's my you are just very cynical and full of theories today conspiracies um really so Beth, bethany gets me bethany turns she me into a diabolical i thing. was like what I, a beautiful mother 14 year olds are some are doing drugs they're out all night with a boyfriend girlfriend god knows doing why i was like what a beautiful relationship where a daughter is just like i don't want to be with my friends i want to spend every waking minute with my mother bonding in the hamptons you were 14 months is that what you wanted to do in middle school, heading to being a freshman in high school? Is that what you wanted to do? No, but that was my point. What a great way to rate. Maybe there's a wonderful no, child. No, it doesn't make sense. Once you start thinking about it, it doesn't make sense. sense. It's not believable. I get it. <laughs> Maybe she says, darling, if you come to dinner with me. And one more Birkin will be under the Christmas tree tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know. You're very cynical today. It's really uh, rubbing off on me. I, this one. I hate it. No, people don't like it. I don't like being negative. You know, I've come back from two vacations. I'm refreshed. I'm positive. But she, I don't know why I have such a visceral reaction now to her because I just. She angers you. It, <laughs> she angers you. By the way. Like it's so phony now and so like desperate when there are just so many talented people doing things that i don't know just it, that's obviously. why i'm enthralled with it because it's if it wasn't bethany it'd be so desperate i, I just want to say because every time i say this it does have an effect so i'm going to take a minute uh don't forget i do business and podcast and life consulting on the weekends every time i say this i book new people the last time I said it, I booked a shitload of people and I have regulars. And for those who just don't need help with a podcast or a business, and you actually want to talk with me one-on-one -on -one for 30 minutes or an hour, just to talk about Bravo one-on-one, -on -one, book me for that. We can talk Bravo. Someone today said, uh, I want to talk about Shannon's passing and all this. I was like, great. Book me. So I'm just saying, I, and by the way, we don't have to do it on the weekends. A lot of people are like, I want to book you. Here's the fee. Let's book. I want to do it during the week. We can do it during the week. You could plug whatever you want. I'm just saying it because every time I say it, it actually leads to people booking me. This is real. This is what I do in my spare time. Plug I, it. No I love, life. I know, I look, I adore you. Anytime that you succeed, Thank I succeed. You. I'm a huge believer of rising tides lift all ships. Ooh. And no, the only thing I would, promote is our live show again we talked about it at the start of this show <sighs> august yes. tickets are in my link uh, in bio on my instagram or on eventbrite david's as well they're all over our social media vip 30 dollars. we heard from you guys you all wanted the vip experience which essentially means you can ask us anything and last time we it, it was such a great discussion but a couple people did get to ask a second question this is going to be mm -hmm. a very intimate um you know, gathering. So hopefully you'll even get more than one question, but don't wait on it. August 15th, 7 30 PM. It's a Thursday night and Eventbrite is where you can get the tickets. Just search David Yontif behind the velvet rope. We don't want to leave our house. Sarah Frazier. That'll pop up. Boom. Purchase and if you want the prize, you got to wear the pajamas. We the are pajamas. truly in the pajamas. And if you can't find the link, like a lot of people slipped just slip into the dms i will gladly copy and paste it some people on youtube have been saying i can't find the link so wherever it is that you can't find the link just leave a comment or slip into the dms and we will get you the link Perfect. it's gonna be fun oh my god it was so much fun last time it we were was. both nervous it went off without a hitch you were fabulous the chat Thank was on you. fire people were so great the variety of questions was just so unpredictable. Um, we always reveal insider scoop. You know, David and I are always talking to TV people behind the scenes and some of these cast members directly. So we save a lot I of I want to hear your Vanderpump scoop oh and BH scoop for this. You'll know where it's coming from. You'll I already know where it's coming from, but I have no idea what it actually is. And my and it is coming from a very reliable source, guys. My I'm very intrigued, especially about Vanderpump. I want details about 